Today we're going to make a four layer devil's food cake with a creamy ganache filling and a luscious chocolate Italian meringue buttercream. In this tutorial I'll show you quickly how to make the cake, how to assemble it, and how to fill the different layers and to get a nice crumb coat and also to do this kind of painted buttercream applique. Um, but if you want a more detailed tutorial, then I'm going to link throughout um, to more in-depth and longer focus tutorials. The first step is preparing your pans. All we're going to use is some parchment paper and some non-stick cooking spray. And then I draw a circle around. And then just cut it out. Just give it a nice little spray in there. Place your parchment inside. And it'll stick to the bottom. So all of my ingredients are at room temperature, which is very important for this cake. It isn't always, but here it's definitely crucial um, to getting the perfect texture. First step, we're gonna, we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar. Use the paddle attachment. You wanna start it on a little bit lower um, than you're actually gonna cream it just because there's so much sugar in here and you don't want it to fly everywhere. While my butter and sugar are creaming, I am going to sift my dry ingredients. So this is cake flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a whisk first. Just, I have a sheet of parchment paper underneath my sifter, and then I'm just gonna And then the best part about the parchment is not only does it keep you from getting cocoa powder all over your kitchen, which sucks, but you can easily transfer it into your bowl. So while this mixture is going, I'm gonna put my egg yolks in with my whole eggs just for convenience sake. And I am going to mix my buttermilk with my coffee. And I will add my vanilla extract. My butter and my sugar are nicely creamed. Um, usually a lot of times it'll kind of make a paste and then when it starts to pull away from the sides of the bowl and like look a little bit more fluffy, that's when you know it's ready. We are gonna slowly add our eggs. For one or two at a time. Pass one. You want to start and end with dry ingredients, okay? I just want cake better. For this size of a, a recipe, for this batch, you do need these tall three inch or two and a half or three inch cake pans. Just go ahead and smooth out the top just a little bit. So I preheated my oven to 350 degrees convection, um, and I'm just gonna pop these in, and I'll check them in like 20, 25 minutes, and then I'll give them a rotate and keep baking. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. Remember, this is our old friend, the cake tester. Uh, and you're just gonna insert it into the center, and then pull it out and look at it. And if you see batter, it needs to go back in the oven. If you see little clinging crumbs, then it's perfect, and you are, your cakes are baked. So we're going to let these cool in the pans for about 10 minutes and then we're going to turn them out and then let them cool completely on the wire rack. Run an offset spatula around the edges just to make sure that those are unstuck and then flip it out. Just take the paper off the bottom. So while the cakes are cooling, we are going to make um, buttercream for the outside. Um, I'm going to make a chocolate Italian meringue buttercream, um, which is basically you just make an Italian meringue and then you add melted chocolate in at the end. So I'm going to start by melting my chocolate. We're going to simultaneously whip our egg whites to stiff peak while our sugar syrup, which is just sugar and water, um, comes up to 240 degrees, which is softball. All right, we are at 235, 236. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn off. Carefully take out your thermometer. Get your syrup. Remember, this is very hot. And then turn up my mixer. You want to 
pour it in one stream down the side of your pot. So before we add our butter, we need to make sure this is cool. And my butter is just, it's soft, but a little bit cool. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start throwing it in there. And now I'm just gonna add the rest of it. Now a lot of our butter is in there. I am going to go ahead and switch to the paddle from here. You want to incorporate your butter with the paddle on kind of like medium, medium, low speed. Um, you're not trying to add a bunch of air at this point. You're just trying to work the butter into the meringue and then get it to come together. Um, so our buttercream seemed a little soupy a few minutes ago um, and I just let it continue mixing and you can see that it came together. I like to add my chocolate all in at once because like medium, medium high right now. You want to get all that chocolate in there before it has a chance to change its mind. So we're just going to chill this um, and in the meantime we're going to cut our cakes that are now cool. I'm going to hold this down um, and I'm going to cut the top off into an even layer first and then I will cut it in half. I, I am not moving my right hand. I set my line and then I am moving my left and turning the table and that is how I am cutting my layer. From here I can see where my midpoint is and then I will start to cut there and I will do the same thing. Okay, we're gonna make a quick simple syrup to soak our cake layers with. Uh, simple syrup, all it is, is just equal parts sugar and water. Um, we don't really need that much for really any cake assembly. Um, so I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do 50 and 50. Bring it just to a boil and then cool it down. So we're ready to make the filling in a similar layer cake. Um, but first we need to refresh our buttercream. And all that means is I have had my Italian meringue buttercream in the refrigerator, and so it's very hard. <laughs> it's very hard. And I need to put it back in the mixer and then mix it on medium low until it smooths out, it warms up, and it kind of comes back together and creates that, that buttercream, um, that spreadable buttercream. So, um, it takes a minute, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the mixer, and while that happens, I'm gonna make the ganache. So, now we are ready to assemble the first layer of our cake. Um, you want to attach your cake board to your stand. Make sure that it's nice and centered, right? Okay. And that will, in the refrigerator, this will set, it will attach it to the stand, um, and so you'll be able to assemble your cake without its lip sliding around the stand. Uh, also, put a little dollop in the center here to attach your cake to the cake board. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot, you just need a bit on there. I like to use the bottom, like something with a flat bit. It makes a nicer, uh, cleaner, leveler cake, and then we soak. You want just enough, but not too much, right? So take your buttercream. I like to start somewhere, and then I slowly move around the outside, squeezing evenly. So we've created this nice little dam. And then we're gonna take our next layer and we are going to place it on top. I like to get down with my cake so that I can see, see if it is even or not. And if it is not even, then I'm going to move it. And then every, between every single layer, this is just something that I like to do. I like to go ahead and um, boop, put a nice little layer there, and then I smooth it out. I, this is not my final coat. I want to make sure that it is nice and smooth um, so that when I do apply my crumb coat, it's going to go on evenly. So at this point, I will, um, I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm going to put the whole thing in my refrigerator. Um, it really depends on your fridge, it has to be rock solid. 
Um, otherwise, you're going to add that next layer, and this is just going to smoosh out, so you have to let your buttercream set. And then make your dam one more time. Even pressure. Yeah. And then I will spread out the ganache. Oh, pops. So you want to flip it over and use the bottom as the top uh, because it has a flatter surface. So again, line her up and make sure that she is straight. All right. And then we will fill in the gap one more time here to smooth that out. Run my spatula around here one more time. Um. Um, you can see it has beautiful straight sides. It is solid and straight and it's even and flat on top um, and it is ready for whatever decoration you want. Okay, so we are set up to decorate. Um, we're gonna do a little painted buttercream. Um, nothing too complicated, I'm just gonna use chocolate because um, I want kind of like a textured, I just want like a textured applique with um, some pops of color and gold from sprinkles. So I'm just going to show you how we would cut it in a restaurant um, or in like a catering company or something like that. This is just hot water. I dipped my knife into. I let it sit for just a minute. Just be careful you don't drop it into it or you'll break the tip. Um, and then I just dry it off. So my cake, my knife is hot and I'm just going to slice off the edge here again. So I'm just going to put that over here. Right. So just slide your offset underneath it, and then you're going to use the other one as a guide.